Welcome to another episode of my Refactoring Java video series. In the latest episode, I showed you one way to test a legacy command line application. It was a simple coffee machine app built with static methods and there was not much object orientation going on. I would like to improve this code now and I will begin by refactoring it towards a model view controller pattern. Let's take a look at this code again. I think I would first extract the view. I would go with a passive view and I will move all the system out statements into the view. Let me first extract them. Let's start with the invalid selection. So what is this display doing? It is asking for a selection. So I will call it ask for a selection. It will also go to the view. What is left? So there are some system out statements I can extract and move into the view. and the out of stock case. And I think that's all. So I can now try and extract a few class. And I will call it CLI view for a command line interface. And I will select all the methods that I want to move to the view. That didn't work. There are some fields that it can't access, so I need to pass them as parameters. And now it should work. Select all the methods again. Make it a little bit bigger for you so I can read it. Everything static, of course. I cannot keep it this way. I will now start and make those methods instance methods. and I will do it for all of them. Now this did result in a lot of new statements, a lot of few instances, but I only need one instance. So I will just pass this as a parameter. Let's extract the parameter and replace all occurrences. Same here. There is also a new statement. Let's extract the parameter for all the cases. I think this code in the top, this will be the model later on. Let's hint that. And this is the view. 
uh, but we only need a single instance so let me extract this instance real quick yeah I am now thinking about inlining this start.io method but let's keep it for now this will be the controller basically for now it's just a method but let's keep it this way I think after each command the ask for a selection is invoked if this is true then this should be a duplication I should be able to invoke it in the end of the conditional of, of the commands does this work let's run the tests yeah it still works now one could argue that I could extract an interface for the view but as I only have a command line interface for now and I'm not thinking about replacing it there is no reason to I can still do it later if I really wanted to and that was step one extract the view next I will extract the model so I have to identify the code that is only concerned with the domain the business logic and I will move this code to the model after that the coffee machine gas should only be left with controller code the code that takes and converts inputs and invokes the model and view accordingly we have already identified that these upper few lines should go to the model so let me extract them to the init model method as they are initializing the model now let's look at the commands there is a restock ingredients command let me move it up to the conditional there is a few parameter that is not used I will remove it and I can see that the update makeable is duplicated so I will remove it run the tests everything still works let's take a look at the make drink command move it up so we can see better there is a lot of stuff going on I'm not yet sure if I want to move the make drink method like this to the model there is even validation logic going on in the if statement let me try and split this else if first so if anything this is not an IO exception this is an illegal argument exception let me fix that now there is the parsing of the input and this is clearly control code let me extract this uh, this is the ID of the drink now I have left only the validation in the if statement and then the make drink but I would like to move the validation also to my model so I will inline it and extract this piece of code to the new make drink function now I can inline the drink ID again I can invert this and make an exit clause in the beginning or I can remove the else less indentations are always better
Yeah, I think I'm now ready to extract the model. So let me first create an empty class. I will name it model for now. Usually I would name it after what it is, the coffee machine. But just to show you the model view controller pattern, I will keep the name model for now. Let's move all the stuff that belongs to the model. Everything still works. Okay, now everything is static still. So I have to convert those to instance methods. Move this up. I want to get rid of all this static. Let me just search and replace it. And replace them all. Now I have to create an instance of the model here and use the instance instead. Let me extract the model as a parameter. Also fix those. Now I can move the code of the init model to the constructor. These I can initialize in the field, that's fine. Let me create a constructor, an empty one, and move these methods up and get rid of the init model function. All right, we have successfully extracted the model. Now this model would need some refactoring as well, but let's do that later. I could now move this control method to a new controller class, but it would not be that interesting. The result is by no means perfect. There is still work to be done in the controller and in the model as well. Right now, the model has a questionable dependency on the view so that it can show whether it is dispensing a drink it is out of stock. This dependency should either be inverted by extracting a view interface or replaced by a return value. Passing callbacks would also be a way to solve this issue. Important is that by refactoring to the model view whatever pattern, we separated the concerns. The domain is now encapsulated in the model. Display implementation details are encapsulated in the view and the controller handles input and coordinates the two. I could unit test, refactor and enhance each of them, the model, the view and the controller in isolation. I hope you enjoyed the video. The code is available on my GitHub. You can find the link in the description. Try it yourself and tell me what you did. Thanks for watching.